Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Dead Rising 4, the Steam version, on the GeForce UTX 1060, 6GB, 5PS MyTrain, I'll be using Cam, if you want to learn how to use it, click on the top right corner of the video where the Cam logo is, or check the description below if you want to learn more. So Dead Rising 4, the Steam version, I'll be doing 1080p, 900p, 1440p and 4k using a G4560 and then an i7-4790 but if I want to skip to any of those sections of the video, check the description below. So I'll be testing those resolutions I mentioned just now, try to get 60 frames per second on 900p, 1080p and 1440p and then also 30 frames per second by cranking up the settings and then at the end of the video I'll show you a comparison between the ARC 480 8GB overclocked versus the GTX 1066 gigabytes overclocked so you can have an idea on how this game performs overall but so far what I notice is that with the G4560 if it's for something like 60 frames per second or below that it's fine you drop below 60 more often with the G4560 but I suggest capping the game at 60 frames per second since what I'm testing here is one of the worst cases possible at least from what I tested a lot of transparencies in an open space on other areas of the game with this configuration you will get like 100 frames per second that will cause the game to stutter due to the CPU so my suggestion is capping the game at 60 frames per second if if you have an i3 or below, a modern Pentium, an i3, something like that, just cap the game at 60 and it will be much more stable. Then if you have a modern i5 or i7, you can uncap the frame rate just fine and it will be more stable than the Pentium or the i3. But still, you can play at 60 frames per second just fine with any of those processors, which I was kind of surprised about. And the 1060 doesn't seem to be enough to play at 1440p 60 frames per second all the time, even lowering the settings drastically. And at 4K, the same thing happened. To get 30 frames per second with some drops below that, I had to play pretty much at the lowest settings, so I would rather play at 1080p. So some things that you should keep in mind, when there are huge amounts of zombies on screen and you're killing them with a special weapon, I don't know, has fire or electrical damage, something of that sort, the frame rate dips will be huge in comparison to the rest of the game. That's why I tested that part of the game in a place where there are many zombies and killing them with a sword that inflicts fire damage. So you can see that there, the frame rate drops a lot, but outside those areas, in small corridors, all that kind of stuff, not too many zombies on screen, the frame rate is different. I'm just showing you the worst case scenario I could make, so keep that in mind. And about the options menu, the level of detail, the LOD option, didn't change the game performance that much, so I suggest keeping that on high. If you have a GTX 1050 Ti or lower, then for anti-aliasing we have FXAA, and TAA, then zombie quality, shadow quality and shadow resolution. I suggest lowering the zombie quality and shadow quality first and then crank up shadow resolution a little bit so you have better visuals in case you're having performance issues. Then for the texture quality we have from low to high, you can play with that just fine. On 1440p it uses more than 2 gigs though so keep that in mind. Then other things that you should turn off if you're having problems with the frame rate are volumetric lighting, screen space reflections, this one is a huge hit to the frame rate. I didn't see much of a difference in performance with translucency lighting, then mirror quality and ambient occlusion, you can lower them, those also are a big boost in the frame rate. Then dynamic load scaling seems to be, I don't know if a dynamic resolution or just dynamic settings in some of them. I didn't really notice much of a difference with it on or off. You can target 30 or 60 frames per second with it, but I didn't see any benefits by having it on or off. So I suggest you try it out yourself and tell me the results in the comments. But so far, I didn't see a difference myself. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>